hey beautiful people welcome back again to the channel it's Dale here and I am your captain today you can already tell from the title of the video we are going to be talking about cost of living here in Sydney Australia so a bit of background a bit of context if you're just seeing my face for the first time I am a registered nurse currently living and practicing here in Australia I'm currently here with my husband so things I'm gonna be saying is gonna be based on two people living in one household <laughs> and also just like to say we do not have any kids yet so it is just solely i and my husband with all these bills okay so i will also try to give you a little bit of background on where exactly we live because cost of living depends exactly on where you live okay i'm currently in sydney though i cannot share the exact location of where i live <laughs> for obvious reasons i'm going to be telling you we are just 30 minutes away from the cbd so cbd is like the central business district where like everything is happening so that's a bit of background just to let you know how it is and also please note that sydney at the moment is the most expensive city in Australia okay it is very expensive just so you also know that whatever I am saying here in this video it might be cheaper other parts of Australia it also depends on your taste it also depends on where exactly in Sydney you live because in Sydney here we have suburbs that are outer the city area and you can actually get everything cheaper than this and if you live even in the CBD, you will spend more, obviously. So let's get right into the numbers. I am sure you cannot also wait to hear how much the cost of living is here in Australia. I would also like to state that the minimum wage here in Australia at the moment is 24.14 Australian dollar per hour. That will also give you a background on how much people earn here in Australia. But basically, most people do not earn minimum wage, if you know what I mean get more but that's it for a bit of background the most expensive thing we spend here in Australia is our rent okay so at the moment we're living in a one-bedroom apartment <laughs> and it's a new build I'm saying all this because all these things go into factor how much we spend okay so the rent ranges from 500 to 750 per week okay calm down <laughs> so that's how much rent is i'm giving you a range because i cannot exactly give you how much we rent our unit because it doesn't make any sense we wouldn't rent where we are renting okay um, because our tastes are different but this is the range I'm making this video to help people coming into australia to have an idea okay not exactly what i spend at the end of the day when it comes to renting it also depends on your family size so yes for one bedroom apartment in the area where i live is around 500 to 750 per week and if you're thinking of two bedroom apartment it can go as high as 800 900 per week okay when it comes to houses if you want to rent something like a three bedroom house it's very hard to see those kind of things around this area because basically it's like a busy city area mostly apartment apartment but if you want to get like a three bedroom house outside my area you get something like um, say 700 to 900 per week but like i said it has to be outside this area which means you'll be outside of the cbd most of the times okay you might be driving one hour or more to get to the central cbd just so you have an idea on how much rent costs you can also look at apps like realestate.au domain.au i also have a video on apartment viewing where i did i'm going to be leaving that video's link in the description box so you can see how much the prices range as well okay so that's it with the rent now when it comes to transportation okay it varies as well i'm going to be speaking for my case because my husband doesn't really use transportation he works from home and his second job is just three minutes walk from where we live so he doesn't spend on transportation however i do spend on transportation i do not have a car yet i use the public transport where i live is very close to the train station it's just like seven minutes walk to the train station the bus station is just outside my apartment so once i come out i get the bus station so the transportation for me is fine what i spend in a month because i go to work four times a week except i want to do something extra but most of the times i go to work four times a week i only spend like 
it ranges okay around 70 80 australian dollar per month that's what i spend on my transportation and this is because i basically just go to work with transportation every other thing like grocery shopping is just like three minutes walk from where we live okay so another occasional times i spend more on transportation is possibly when i go to african stores because there's no african store close to me so every other thing you want to do probably take an uber if you're going to somewhere that is far away or you just in a hurry it might cost you like per trip maybe 20 30 40 australian dollar but honestly it is very rare for us to use uber or any other form of transportation aside train and bus because where we live is quite central so transportation here is good but if you live outside like you live in our suburbs you might need a car because i've heard people complain that live in those areas that transportation is not that reliable but i'm only speaking for myself and for my experience okay so that's it for the transportation in sydney so the next thing we spend on is electricity okay with electricity we pay anything from 60 to 110 australian dollar per month it varies because it depends on how much electricity you use per month okay now bear in mind that i told you my husband spends most of the time at home because he does work from home and me i'm always outside most of the time except i'm off duty and then i'll be home but we try to switch off the lights switch off appliances we're not using most of the time and don't forget it's also a one bedroom apartment that's why the bill is like that so the least we've gotten is 60 and the highest we've gotten is 110 okay so this is per month that's it for electricity the next bill we pay is gas and hot water for some reason we pay for hot water <laughs> but we don't pay for like water we don't have water bill okay so i think this is the thing with sydney i don't know if it's same with other parts of australia but here in sydney if you rent you don't pay water bill so whatever water you use is going to be to your landlord so when you start buying houses you'll be the one to pay water okay but for now we still rent so we don't pay water bill what we pay is hot water like hot water bill that's what they call it so we pay hot water bill together with our gas which is our cooktop we don't pay per month we pay quarterly so every three months we pay a fee so we've only paid twice because we've only been here for like eight months okay the next bill is not here yet so the first month we paid 223 and then the second time we paid 245 so it ranges like that okay so let me just leave it at average of 230 so that's what we pay per three months if you divide it by three months we pay about 82 dollar per month for gas and hot water okay i would also like to say that i use hot water a lot i shower with hot water even if it is extremely hot i cannot beat cold water so that also plays a role and i spend a lot of time in the shower room okay <laughs> especially when i come out from work i shower like for a long time so please note that i use the hot water a lot okay so that is that the next thing we spend on monthly is our internet bill okay so the internet is fixed it doesn't matter how much you use it so even though like we use it a lot it is fixed amount for that month so every month we pay 80 dollar per month please note that it depends on the provider okay make your research shop around you see something cheaper you also find something more expensive but i would like to say that when it comes to internet i think that australia internet is not that great compared to what i've been used to so we try to go for what was most re recommended and it's more expensive to be fair so you have to put that into consideration as well before getting any internet provider so that you don't get something and all the time you're complaining about internet 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 but for us what we got we've been fine with it we don't have any complaint whatsoever so 80 dollar well spent <laughs> now the next thing we spend on is like our phone bill personally i have mobile data always on my phone because you never know when there's an emergency and you're not at home and then you need to contact someone and we are in internet age that i cannot possibly live without data so i pay 35 australian dollar per month for 15 gig on my phone sometimes i have to recharge twice a month because if i finish the 15 gig i have to recharge again okay the next thing we spend on monthly is grocery now when it comes to grocery it depends on so many factors i mean you already know what you eat might be cheaper it might be more expensive i have a detailed video on how much you spend per week in australia here i'll put the link of the video 
in the comment section or in the description box so you can actually watch and see more detail what we buy every month but for us because we live just three minutes walk from where we get our groceries we just buy fresh things every week sometimes we even go in between the week to buy but if we go weekly sometimes we shop on Sundays we spend about hundred Australian dollar per week so if you calculate that to a month it will be like 400 on groceries per month for a family of two I also want to state that what we buy <laughs> we buy from Aldi which is a little bit cheaper we haven't really utilized the fresh market stores outside because I mean Aldi is just three minutes and I found Aldi to be a little bit cheaper than Coles or Woolies and all that one so we just stick with Aldi okay I also like to state that when it comes to my type of food like African food is more expensive we don't really buy African food that much because we only just arrived and to be fair all the things I came with from Nigeria we still have them here so we are still using them but like palm oil is finished of course we use palm oil to cook almost everything so palm oil was finished and we went to buy but randomly what we spent there was like 150 and it still lasts us a long time okay because we didn't buy everything like we had loads of things so i can't really say with the cost of african store food item i will be doing a more detailed video when i finally go to shop from the african stores but just know that it's more expensive because you know we don't get these things that often another thing i do to cut down bills is i try to buy things from asian stores i find that our asian stores are a little bit cheaper than african store and they have most of our things okay just maybe different names if you know what i mean of course we don't have our core food item like ogiri in asian stores okay so just understand what i mean like you can find okra in asia stores plantain in asian stores you know those kind of few bits and bobs so i try to buy things there so that's it with groceries and when it comes to eating out I'll be honest with you, I and my husband, we don't eat out. Very rare occasion we go out is like very, very rare. Of course, just like going out to fine dining and all. However, it's not something we do every day. So it's very hard for me to tell you how much you spend on eating out every month because we don't eat out every month. Like all the time we've been here, I think we've only ate out twice in eight months. But we do mostly cook our food. So that's why we spend less on that. But I'll just give you a range just in case you like eating out. Eating out here in Australia, I'll be honest with you, is quite expensive. And I don't know if it's just a Sydney thing or it's just everywhere. But here in Sydney, if you're going out to eat, like, table for two, you'll be looking at spending, like, 100 to 120 per meal. And it also depends on what you order, okay? Like, when I went out with my friends to African store, where three of us and we spent, like, 180 Aussie dollar. If you're on my Facebook, please use this opportunity to follow me on Facebook. If you're not, if you're on Facebook, you've already watched that video and you've seen how much it costs to eat in an African restaurant here in Australia so the next thing we spend is health insurance okay so because we are permanent residents here in Australia we are entitled to Medicare which is the subsidized or free healthcare here in Australia I have a well detailed video on my experience when I went to the doctors here in Australia and I spent zero dollar so we don't pay anything when it comes to healthcare to be honest as at the moment we don't have any private insurance and this is because we haven't had the need for it to be honest we know our health condition it is by god's grace is in a perfect condition and we don't really frequent the hospital so we were like let's save some money from that although health insurance is not cost let me be honest we are just not i don't know what to put it we just don't care <laughs> god please forgive me but yeah but health insurance you'll be looking at paying something like even 80 dollar per month per month for two people or even lesser like people have said they are cheaper ones so you can shop around for that but currently we don't pay anything so i can't give you an exact figure and another thing i spend on personally is my nursing union <laughs> this one i don't know i I'm, I'm thinking i'm gonna cancel it pretty soon to be honest i am with new south wales union here in australia every month i pay 69 australian dollar to be a member of the union so it's just like I don't know if it's worth it, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking I might just cancel it. Please send help. They are the best in Sydney, to be honest. So I'm just like, mm. but I don't know. I might cancel it anytime I feel like, no, this money is not worth it. Okay. They are currently fighting for a pay rise. So let me, let me help them until the pay rise is here. Then I can think of, I can think of if I can continue or cancel. But anyway, that's how much I pay for my union fee. Another thing you might be thinking of is probably gym membership 
to be honest at the moment i don't go to any gym my husband also does not <laughs> so we don't pay anything for gym but i'll give you a range some people pay like 60 to 100 per month for gym membership here in sydney so if you are a fitness enthusiast just know that that's how much you might be paying other things we spend money on but not really on a monthly basis like clothes like i barely buy new clothes i'm not a fashionista but i would like to be one but we don't spend money on clothes every time but definitely clothing has to do with the exact store you go to personally i shop on Shein most of the time and that's maybe when i'm going on vacation anyways i don't really buy new clothes i repeat clothes a lot so i don't even know how much to put for that but we don't buy clothes that much and another thing is hair hairdo for me this is the very first and only hair i've done since i came to australia i'm also not too concerned about fashion hair makeup i don't even wear makeup so i save a lot of money on all these things anyways i spend so much on skincare so don't even think that i save money i don't save money but there are just some things that don't eat my money but for this hair black girls this hair i spent like 280 australian dollar for this hair and it came with the attachment with the extension so i didn't pay anything i just went with my hair like that and she did everything so that's the range it cost it cost up to like 400 as well but this was like the cheapest i got around my area so it also depends on exactly where you stay for my husband his haircut is like 35 per cut so i think he cuts his hair twice a month i don't know <laughs> but that's just to give you like an idea how much we spend any other thing we spend on is not something we do every month like buying of personal items cream perfume and you know all those stuff it's something we don't do every month but once in a while we buy them in bulk so that helps us as well but yeah that's it so yes this is a rough estimate of how much a family of two with no kids spend here in sydney I hope this video has helped you to like get a figure in your head how much we spend a month here in Australia. People have said loads of things about how expensive it is and how they are finding it difficult to survive here but I just want to let you know that these factors like lifestyle, cutting down on costs and like cooking your meals, looking for a cheaper place, cut down on transportation, all these things do help. So. You just have to figure out what works for you but this video is just to give you an idea especially people coming from the uk so that they can have an idea on how much it costs like i said this is for sydney and sydney is more expensive than any other part of australia so maybe just put it at the back of your mind that this is the highest you might spend might okay but thank you so much for watching if you've watched this extent please leave a comment please like this video it helps me grow it helps me know what kind of content you also like and let me know what you think about the cost of living here in sydney if you are in other parts of australia what's the cost of living like i would love to read from you as well thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys later bye